He said he was looking to downsize some of his collection. He sent me some pictures. They make fun of as the first appearance of the bat <laughs> and, Like these books haven't been looked at in probably five years. Right. So oh, it's, well. not, it's not a bad condition. No. Back then it was 200. Now the pictures did not do justice to the situation. Bloggy Fritz. Good man, Anthony. Nice to meet you. Jimmy, Jimmy nice to meet you. Yeah, so you're welcome to look at okay. I just was. I knew I had a few sentimental things, so I just had got them out and put them up top there. Oh, okay. Everything's right on. Game. And uh, the lunch boxes do have stuff in them. Oh, okay. Because I just like fill them up to get stuff in. Gotcha. Yeah. If you want, you can always just make a pile of stuff you're interested in. Okay. Yeah, this looks like more than I was thinking. Yeah, comic books, I still have quite a bit in the house, but I just, that was mine and my dad's thing, and I haven't really decided what exactly was going to get sold. Right. Like the other block. Soakies are pretty cool. Is this all the turtle stuff in here? All the turtle uh, comics? One of these boxes has like TMT on it. Yeah, that's what this one said on top. Yeah, that one's all the turtle ones. Okay. The two original ones I sent you that was in rough shape. Yeah. I had one, two, three, and four in way better condition, but I sold those in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they're rough, but those old ones are so cool, I think. Yeah, they're just hard yeah, to come by. Exactly. I, think I found those at a yard sale, and the dude pointed all that out. <laughs> and being a comic guy, I'd seen it already. Yeah. So I didn't have a problem buying them. Should I just hang those on a wall or something? Yeah. They're pretty cool. Especially put them in the frame. Right, exactly. Them. Yeah, Ninja Turtles has always been my favorite. But yeah, that's just. That's some older stuff in it. Yeah, there's a few older things in these boxes and this stuff. I mean, dig, you could dig through that and maybe find a few good things. Yeah. Those aren't I know that one's pretty decent last time I checked. Yeah, there's some, de yeah, there some decent ones in there, probably 50 or 60 bucks. I know there's Forever <laughs> People number one in there. Yeah. Uh, New Gods number one is a pretty good one. That's the first appearance of the Huntress. That's cool. Yeah, that was decent. Yeah, Demon One. So yeah, there's some decent ones in there, like older 12 centers. I just love 12 centers. I yeah. mean, even the ones that aren't keys or anything, they're just yeah, kind of no, fun to find. It's, it, they, they're just so hard to come by yeah. nowadays. And back then, I could find them dollar or two. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it was so easy, but now that the MCU movies and stuff is a way bigger thing, people are starting to get into stuff right. that they normally weren't into. So it just makes the collecting harder and less affordable. Oh, for sure. That's a cool box. There's some cool tin centers in here too. The world's finest. Yeah, but I lived with my parents. I would go, I would drive hours to buy collections. I've had some of the best Bronze Age books you can have. Yeah. But buying a home and then having a kid and just had to sell. My best pickup was uh, Hawk 181 and Giant Size X Men number one. Yep. First and second on Wolverine. I actually found those really cheap. Like cheaper than the mill at McDonald's. Cheap. Oh, yeah. So. Wow. Those are my two best stories. What'd you get out of the X Men? The X Men number one I got. This was before it went crazy. Right. I still got like seven fifty for it. Oh really? Yeah. And then the Hulk one eighty one. When we first bought our house, we needed furniture, so I sold it and I got twenty two hundred dollars for it. Isn't that cool that you can do that though? Yeah. It was, it was pretty nice. My wife liked it. Yeah. She was like, "Sell the rest of your house." <laughs> I was like, "Well, not all of them will bring that money." I was like, "Maybe if I sold a bunch." Right. Bunch, I've never gotten one eighty one. I got one eighty, and I do have the X Men number one. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's yeah, I a, found uh, two 180s, and they were beat to hell. Yeah. I sold those a week. Yeah. 
Yeah, so there's just a bunch of different high pods. If this is a spider bear, the older stuff's gonna be right up front. Oh, okay. So like, there's 20 centers. So a lot of those are 12. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't check these boxes before I flipped it, put them in here. Oh, that's okay. I know that's a decent book. 136, oh, wow. where he's fighting Hobgoblin. There's two of those. Decent one too. Oh wow. So 136, 137. I got to a point to where I started like being real bad about cataloging my books. Uh -huh. And uh, like, I think that was the first appearance of Madam, this lady right here. Oh, that's cool. But uh, I have so many other Spider Man and just key books that are just sitting somewhere and it takes so long. To right. Did you almost lose it when you found that? Or uh, could you tell from a mile away? Uh, I could tell, yeah, because the original one is real, like real big. Yeah. It's much bigger. I think I have a Marvel Treasury Edition of the week there. Oh, really? Actually, but, yeah, that's really, the, the Marvel Treasury Editions that are real big. Like, <laughs> that, um... Are these like little big books and stuff? Yeah. So there's a bunch of these uh, Marvel novels and stuff. And then you got the gold key. Yeah, those are cool. Uh, books. Yeah, those are pretty neat. I bought those off of a woman said her kid went to college, left them, and she had them in her attic, and I bought them. But the uh, big books, there are quite a bit of uh, older ones. Mm -hmm. I just don't know anything about them. Me and my dad started collecting them and just never did research. Right. And he had probably 10 of them, and then I found a, found a guy on offer up. He had this whole bin there was like 70 of them uh -huh. and like this age right here he had like 70 of them and uh i asked him how much he wanted he was like well just come take a look at them first i'm not sure on the price da, da, da. he's like i just need gas to get home right that's why i'm selling them they, he was like they were in the back of my car i broke down and i said okay so i could pull up not knowing how much and he told me 40 dollars. oh wow so i was like yeah i can't pass that <laughs> that's pretty cool so then once I came home with this mini, my dad was like, okay, well, there's no point in collecting anymore because it's no cool anymore. Right. <laughs> it was cool to find one every once in a while. Just a pretty crazy mixture, it looks like. Yeah, it's just, there's no rhyme or reason with these books back then. Some of them are fairly good condition for mm -hmm. the age, but obviously they're all gonna be, have some difficulty. Oh, for sure, too. yeah. I don't even know where to look for the year or There it is, 1939. So they're approaching a hundred years old. That's so crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are neat. Would you want to sell any by the box? Or I mean, I would, or okay. you could just empty a box and kind of pick okay. what you're more, most interested in. Right. Because I had, I, I think I sold one short box a week or two ago. Uh huh. That the dude told me what he was interested in, and I filled it up with like Batman and Superman and stuff. Right. And he offered me a price, and we negotiated, and I sold him. I mean, that was the, that's the main thing we want to do is downsize. Right. Get down to like two or three boxes. And it's mainly going to be his X-Men stuff. Mm -hmm. And then a few tiny key books that I like. But okay. Because I'll say you might, you, you honestly would probably get a little bit of a better deal if you just grabbed out what you want. Because like if you were, say you were interested in that, I know that's like a 60 or $70 book. Obviously mm -hmm. I wouldn't sell it for that piece. Yeah. I'd give you a better deal, but I think there's like one or two of the Shazam number ones, and those are like the same price, sixty or seventy dollars. So I wouldn't want to base the price off those, and those were the ones you weren't interested in, right? You know, so like that one's. I know you said you like the older stuff, and that one's a fairly good one. This is uh, first appearance of Yellow Jacket. Yeah, he's not in any movies, but all the speculation, if he was in the movie, that would just go up tremendously right you know anything about these ones right here the damn book no uh this the first one that came out there's a uh, picture so this is the two variants uh -huh. it's very explicit it's, it was made for adults right and i think in one of the last panels in the back page here i'll take it out and show you it's got like a silhouette of this oh really so it's the first appearance <laughs> they make fun of it's the first appearance of the bat wing <laughs> <laughs> they actually these two actually go for i think like 75 dollars for the pair wow and these are fairly new like three or four years old that's funny 
that way. But yeah, people were making making a big deal of it. I think they started pulling them off the shelf, <laughs> and that's what makes it sought after. So you oh, see geez. It in the bottom panel, yeah. Man, that is that's 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 pretty there. <laughs> yeah. that's, not, that's not. And people were like, "Oh my goodness, I bought this for my kid." And... <laughs> that's hilarious. The Batwing. These things. Me, what's gonna eventually go on these totes will be stuff that's my son's, like his toys. And oh stuff yeah. Like that I'll put up for him. That's kind of neat. And then this box is open, but all the packs in it are sealed. Oh, are they? Oh yeah. In yeah. Yeah, it's that's cool. Box and there's a few loose on top. Yeah, put that in the pile too. I did like that lunch box. I like that thermos. And I think these three lunch boxes down here. Let's see this record. That real cool. Yeah, I think that's neat. Nineteen fifty-nine. This is crazy how. <laughs> I mean, this was made for a kid. You yeah. You never find something made this well for a kid again. It'd be all oh, fine. never. Yeah, exactly. Like for that to make it that long, it tells you that they took pride in right. the stuff they made back then and versus now. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. Okay. So we got that that we already talked about with those books right there. Yeah. Got got this pile here. I put the whole box of uh, TMNT. TMNT there, um, and I pulled some stuff out. Here, there's definitely some of the keys that you pulled out too, but yeah. if you want to look through and see what I got, some of it's just because I thought it looked neat. Yeah, yeah I, that's that's pretty much the Spider-Man through the 35 cents. Okay. Yeah, Spider-Man's always a good save for to collect mm -hmm. because, I mean, everybody loves Spider-Man. Yeah, so all of those, this pile here, okay. and then, oh, and then I meant to grab these two. Yeah, I, I, I like these two guys right here. <laughs> yeah, I like this right here too. Control and stuff like that. Yeah, I got so many man at arms though. But yeah, put the troll in there too. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> right on. I don't need it. Yeah, all this stuff will be easy to price and come mm -hmm. up with something. It's just the only thing that's going to be difficult is like those big little books. I would have no clue. Right. And honestly, that's probably what I'm least interested in out of yeah. out of out of everything. Well, that's so something we could come back to. Yeah. So what would you be comfortable? With? Man, there's so many comics that I don't I don't even know. Uh, yeah, you bet your your money wise is going to be in that little stack right there, mm -hmm. and the Spider Man, and obviously these twelve centers and stuff. Yeah. You can get five, ten. Right. Yeah. Maybe I mean, even twenty out of them, but it'd be easier to sell in person. So mm -hmm. on eBay. Like these books haven't been looked at in probably five years. Right. So it's not doing me any good. If I can get some money back out of them. It's like you think this is the best stack here? Probably the better stack. That one, not so much. I mean, that's probably like a 20 or $30 yeah. book. But yeah, just just for value wise, like Demon number one, I know is over $100. And that one's probably 50 or 60. Mm -hmm. Shazam's are 100. And then that one's a hard one to come by in a good grade. And. That one would probably be like 100, 120 range if he was to sell and okay. get full value. So you think this stack here is probably five to 700 retail? Retail, it, I, I would reserve, I would probably say $400 minimum. Okay. And that would be good. I, I wouldn't try to sell it to you for that. Right, okay. And what kind of value are you putting on the TMNT box? Uh, the TMNT box, I was just gonna tell you $100. Oh, okay, for all that right there. And then the big book and like any any Ninja Turtle thing that was found, you can just throw it on top and it won't affect anything. Okay. So like that and that. I mean, that right there will get you close to half your money back. Yeah, yeah. 30 or $40. Yep. The so, robotic. Yeah. I'm okay. fine with $100 or all okay. that. Yep. And there is number one in the uh, yeah, like the one series that's like 20. fourth print or something. I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking about the uh, 1990s. Oh, Ninja the uh, adventures or whatever. Yeah, that mm -hmm. one's like twenty or thirty right. dollars. So hundred hours, you'd be safe on that. Okay. And I'd be okay with that. And yeah. then you did look through this too. And this will be. Oh, okay. With the so you don't worry about having to do all that. All right. Well, let me just throw out a number. Yeah. Whatever you're on comfortable this, with on the comments, you know. Okay, so we got this mm -hmm. and this. You said a hundred on that, but let's just let's just say all this stuff right here, okay? okay. What if we did six hundred? Marvel books too, the digests and gold keys. I was counting those with those books, so I mean that's not. 
Okay. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you and say, yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Good. Okay. What were you thinking on these? And then, okay, these that's the. Be a lot easier for me to sell. Just oh, okay. Those are, I mean, a lot of these are probably 15, 20 yeah. piece. I know I don't have nearly, nearly that in them. Right. But. I think I threw some back in too. So. I know you said you like those. I do like the Marvel ones. Those are cool. Yeah. So these. S 600 there, and then I don't know, like 100 bucks on those. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Seven even? Yes, sir. Cool, man. Yeah, I don't think I looked through that box. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's, well. not, it's not a bad condition. No. Back then it was 200 Now it's, it would probably be like in the two or $300 range. Yeah, uh, I have this in a 6.5, but it's cool uh, to see it raw like oh, this. Yeah, yeah. It's raw, or, raw is definitely the way to go for me. Now, graded, there would be some books like my X-Men 181. I wish I'd have got it graded. If yeah. It, came, it was real bad. Right. Like, real bad but it still had the stamp it was a hundred percent all right see what you think on that pile there and then i'll get out of your hair okay okay so we're at seven so far yeah, that was, that was an actually good condition that's pretty cool that's a good early i think 39 is 38 or 39 is his first appearance so that's real early oh, okay Yeah, the, I think these books are better than the others. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because these two are real popular. Yeah. Killmonger. That one's in really good shape. Yeah, it's a nice deck. I don't mind paying up a little for it, so let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, because I think the two main books, three three or four main books, would be the Iron Man. Mm -hmm. I'd be comfortable with this stack. And then I'll throw these in the mads in with the rest of okay. that. Um, I'd be comfortable at 400. 400, so 11? 11, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Cool, man. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, it was real nice meeting you. Also, you, you too. Name, name was? Uh, my name's Anthony. Anthony, okay. Yep. Yep. Jimmy. Jimmy. All right, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I'll get back with you in the future. Sounds good, buddy. And we are back in the showroom. I got a message from a local guy. His name is Jimmy. He said he was looking to downsize some of his collection. He sent me some pictures. The pictures did not do justice to the situation. It turned into an incredible pick, probably one of the most unintimidating comic book deals I've done so far. I love buying vintage comic books. I love learning about them. What I don't know far exceeds what I do know. In fact, my entire comic book education has been in public on this channel for better or worse. I've made deals where the pros say I paid too much and they call me an idiot. I've made deals where people say I pay too little. They call me a scam artist. Honestly, I just kind of follow my gut. I love taking chances, learning as I go, and it is what it is. Jimmy was super nice very knowledgeable, very fair. I love that he not only let me quote unquote cherry pick, he encouraged it. So I wasn't forced to make some crazy uneducated offer on the entire collection. And the door is open for future deals, which I am absolutely up for. Now I know everybody loves comps so they can see some sort of uh, visual representation of the potential payoff versus the initial investment. But when it comes to a lot like this, there are some challenges. For example, I could show you this copy of Tales of Suspense number 47 from 1963, the first appearance of Melter. I could throw up some comps of this book in nice condition that would range between like three and four hundred dollars, but when you start taking a closer look at some of the condition issues, it might not even be as nice as some of these books that sold between like thirty and forty dollars. I mean they're basically comics that he rescued from flea markets and yard sales over the course of several years. That's why this was an eleven hundred dollar deal and not a ten thousand dollar deal. When it comes down to it, I think the best thing to do is just spread out as many as I can and show you kind of an overview of some of the stuff I picked up. This is some of my favorite stuff right here. I really love all this Silver Age Amazing Spider-Man. Again, some are in much better condition than others, but I absolutely love the 1960s artwork. I love these issues down here, the Doc Ock issues, uh, number 53, 54, 55. They look like they're in pretty decent condition. They do have some creasing on the covers. From a straight value standpoint, I'm sure some of these keys up here would be the obvious front runners. I think Iron Man number one here from 1968 is probably the most valuable comic in the entire lot. Again, it's probably hard to tell, but it's certainly not a high grade. 
Iron Man number one is a timeless book though. It'll never go out of style. Also, we have the Demon number one, which I think is really cool. I love the artwork on this one. We have Forever People number one and New Gods number one, both very cool. A couple copies of Shazam number one. We have the Avengers number 59, the first appearance of Yellow Jacket. And then we also start in with some Bronze Age Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, we have the first McFarlane cover of Spider-Man number 298. I did end up picking up these three graphic novels as well. We have The New Mutants, number four, The Death of Captain Marvel, and The Sensational She-Hulk, number 18. If we come over here, we have another rack set up of stuff I just thought was cool. Uh, we have Iron Man, number 128, Demon in a Bottle, Always a good issue to pick up when you see it. There's a Wolverine number one that he just ended up throwing in. An old Dell Dracula. Some old Avengers and Thor. This one's really cool. Kind of rough shape, but it's the Tales of Suspense number 20. Ten cent comic from 1961. We have Strange Tales number 130, where the Human Torch and the Thing meet the Beatles. The Inhumans and the Black Widow number one. Crypt of Shadows number one. Tales of Suspense with Captain America and Iron Man. Some more Thor. We have the Hawk and the Dove number one. Leaves this entire box of stuff still to go through. Some more Iron Man. Some more really old uh, Silver Age stuff. Then we have Shogun Warriors, The Shadow, a couple of The Shadows. Got the House of Mystery 184, House of Secrets 87, House of Secrets number 65. There's some old Aquaman, Strange Tales, early run of Batlash, and then a bunch more Spider-Man. I think I ended up buying all the Spider-Man up through the 30 cent issues. Uh, maybe if I end up going back, I'll, I'll expand that a bit, but I thought that was a really good place to start. Really cool stuff in there. And then we have all the extra stuff, pretty much all the turtle stuff he threw in for a hundred bucks, including this entire box of comics. Inside the box of comics, we have a fourth printing of the original TMNT number one. Obviously not in great shape, and it is a fourth printing. Still really cool though. It did include a first printing of number two and number three. Both of those are in pretty bad shape, but I still think they're awesome. Some more early TMNT, there's number five, number six, some of the micro series stuff like Donatello, Michelangelo, some more stuff from the first run in here. There's a bunch of the IDW stuff. Got the robotic rock steady with the shoulder guns, pretty cool. Quite a few lunch boxes missing thermos. There's a Walt Disney World, Woody Woodpecker, E.T., Walt Disney Magic School Bus. Got a big stack of the Marvel paperbacks. Couple action figures, I think these are Toy Biz. There's a Daredevil figure and the Silver Surfer 30th anniversary figure. Both very cool in the package still. All in all, I feel absolutely great about this deal at 1100 bucks, and I look forward to going back and finding some more. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya! Bye!